Hi YouTubers, so here we are at Bridget Marine in Exeter Quay and we've just kind of picked up our brand new trailer. Whee! Here it is. It's an Admiral 6 something or other and it's going to be perfect for the dive boat. So here we are today at Bridget Marine in Exeter picking up our brand new boat trailer. Oodles and oodles of boats to choose from, second hand, brand new, lots of engines. And here we are, outside Morrison's in Tiverton. And the common rat is having his lunch. <laughs> He's the size of a small cat. He's having a good feed. Right, so now we've got the trailer home. Um, apparently, with this design of trailer, you're supposed to be able to just literally back up to a boat that's on the deck, like that, on the ground, and pick it up. So let's see what happens. So the elephant trunks work. So this is what I want to avoid is the fact that the water is in sections. It doesn't run straight through. Well, it does eventually because it, it kind of seeps underneath these seats and goes through like that. But it doesn't go through very quickly. I need it to. I need to be able to get the pressure washer out or the hose and literally rinse the whole thing down. Really, you know, in, in one. Which is why I'm going to be replacing these seats with ones that are off the ground so that the water will run straight underneath. So this is the benefit. So this is the benefit of having a, a door in the back of your van. Come on, go have a look. So now I can straight through the back and see the back of the trailer.
we're getting there. With these trailers, there's a lot of adjust, a lot of fine adjustment to do because everything's adjustable on these trailers. Everything's just uh, 17 mil nuts, and things slide around. So for each individual boat. So uh, we've got some fine adjusting to do. But yeah, does not look good. I'm a proud father. Yes. Uh, at the back here, these uh, wobble rollers, they should really be, the boat should be further back. Um, the boat should be further back on top and the trans the back of the transom should be on top of these to support the transom because don't forget there's going to be a big fat engine on there that's going to weigh, weigh something so yeah so that needs to come back which just means push moving this forward so we'll move that that way by uh, six inches I know we better. What a great trailer though. Look at that. Look at the fit on there. Look how that fits perfectly. This is awesome. This double uh, this double thing here, double support, uh, bow support, whatever it's called, but you don't often get that. It's pivoted as well, and it's a double support. Absolutely phenomenal. I'm really, really pleased with this trailer. It's absolutely made for it, it's perfect. Of course, when you first buy a trailer, there's always a worry that it's not going to fit or it's not going to be suitable. But this is absolutely brilliant. There we go. So theoretically, theoretically, is that a big? Is that a word? Theori <laughs> theoretically. 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 If we now, what well, we want to get this back to here. So if we loosen these off, the whole thing should shift forward under the pressure. So it is under pressure. It should snug fit under there, and then we'll tighten them up again. Right, so that's going to be our new fixing point. That's it. Spot on. <laughs>